what's up everyone? Welcome to Rex Engine. In this video, I wanted to cover lives and game overs and the inevitability of death and stuff like that. Um, so at this point, Rex Engine has a pretty robust lives and game over system. Um, and there's a lot of different options there. So I wanted to walk you through some of those. Um, so starting off, we're going to open up the Rex settings panel. And if you don't have that open, it's under window, Rex Engine, Rex settings. I like to dock this guy here where it's out of the way. And in that panel, we want to pop open the lives heading. And so in this field here, there's a bunch of options for how the game interacts with lives. Um, the first thing is, are lives enabled? So we could turn that off and hit save. And this would make it so the game does not use a live system. It means we can still die, we can still respawn, but there's no counter ticking down that gives us a game over when all the lives are gone. Um, immediately under that we have does zero count and this is this is funny because it's like completely semantics but it's one of my favorite options and basically it's like some games when the counter hits zero you get a game over right away and some other games let you play out that final life while the counter is on zero so you only get a game over when the counter goes below zero and so this option here it lets you decide whether or not zero counts as your final life or not um, starting lives is pretty self-explanatory, as is maximum lives. Um, so any of these, let's test these out real quick. If we hit play, we should see the lives counter up in the upper right here. And it says 3, because we set starting lives to 3. If we set that guy to like some stupid number, like 12, that should be reflected when we hit play. Um, if I jump in this pit like an idiot, we'll see that when I respawn, the counter has gone down to 11. And on that note, where you respawn when you die. So that is set here in the default respawn scene. Um, out of the box, it's going to be set to demo underscore one. And so this is like if you start your game and you've never hit a checkpoint, or you've never loaded a fresh level from inside the game, this is the default place you respawn in. So if I change this to demo, let's say demo two, hit the save button. So now when I die, we should see it'll load us into a different level. It's gonna load us into demo two rather than the demo one that we went to before. So there we are, I have a demo two. Um, and like I said, the place that you respawn when you die can be adjusted by um, the checkpoint object. You can create those from the Rex palette under gimmick, checkpoint. If you make one of those, they have, um, well, they'll, they'll set it so the current scene that you touch the checkpoint in becomes the new area where you respawn. But without dealing with any of that, this is the default room you respawn in. Um, so then the game over scene here, is what scene in your demo is is considered the game over scene. Um, so out of the box we have demo game over, which is really self-explanatory I hope. It's um, literally just text that says game over. <laughs> I don't even know if we have any sad music or anything. Um, but this is just a scene that says game over and you click through and it takes you somewhere else basically. And the place it takes you is the post game over scene. So this is like when you're at the game over screen and you click continue, where does it take you? And in this case, it takes you to demo title. So you die, you go to the game over screen, and then you reload back at the title. Um, if you wanted to do something fancy, like take players to a stage select or something, you can just set the name of that scene here in the post game over scene. And so that's basically it. That's the entire flow of whether or not you've got lives, um, counting down how many lives you have, where it takes you when you die, if you lose all your lives, where does that take you, and then where does the game over screen take you. So all of that is set up. Um, and the last thing I want to show you guys is if you want to reskin any of the lives stuff, all of that is under uh, the Rex Engine Resources System folder.
So Rex Engine resources system. And in there, there's this object called singletons. You can just drag that out. And in the upper right here, you'll see um, the lives counter. Um, so if you pop open singletons, inside that, there's the lives manager object. I'm just going to drag this around for better visibility for a minute. And if we pop that open, we'll see there are two things in there. There's an icon, and literally all this is is a sprite. Um, in this instance, we've got the main character's head. But you can delete that, or change it, or make it a background, or whatever you guys feel like. Um, and there's a text mesh, which is the number of lives you have left. And feel free to change the font on that, or style it however you want. Um, and then just be sure when you're done, hit apply on singletons and remove that from the stage. And that is how you deal with death. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.